The PDM leader, while addressing the media on current affairs, questioned what actions President Gengop took to address the country's bankruptcy during his first term in office. Venani further claimed that the head of state pretended to have inherited a country worth billions of dollars by increasing government expenditure. He was next to the fire. He was the chief policy advisor. The prime minister is the chief policy advisor of the president on a number of facts, on a number of areas. So if Swapo claims that they inherited a broke government, then they must agree that Swapo is a broke party that cannot run a country because they have run this country broke. If it is true that he inherited a broke government, what did he do with the broke government? What did he do to rescue the pro-government? He enlarged it. He was acting as if he, he has inherited a multi-billion dollar government. So I, I would always take issue with him that he knew my views when they were public of a large government. He knew the large motorcades. I, how many times have I asked him to, to limit motorcades? And if you are the president of the country, lead from the front and tell us what have you done to balance this country. In response to Venani, Gengob stated that he prefers to be assessed by foreign experts and not locals. He further said that the state coffers were empty when he took over as third president of Namibia, adding that he tried by all means to rescue the country's financial state. When he took over, it was zero. Go and check it. It's the truth now. Zero. And budgets, taxes don't come from, from January, February. <laughs> They are paid throughout the year. It's a cash flow problem. We came to try to clean up wastage, even in the state house. I'll tell you how we try to, even when we renovated, go to the airport. Furniture that you see there, we took from here. Because it was, it was already here, in hallways and so on. Just looking at that. We look at uh, overcharging where people are packing up their tenders. Case in point, the airport situation. Airport, three billion originally, and we have seven billion. We stopped it. I stopped it. They wanted the court, Chinese. We lost the first round. We appealed, and at the end, we save the country four billion. You don't know these things. According to Gengop, Namibia's governance architecture is admired by many countries around the world, except Namibia. He, however, challenges those that are questioning him to do follow-ups on the minister's performance agreements that he introduced during his first term as head of state. Gengop also mentioned how he demoted certain ministers for their involvement in corrupt deals and how he lost political favor after he intercepted potential corrupt deals that would have worsened the country's financial state, such as the oil refinery project between Namibia and Angola.